Mr. Cameron admitted Brexit has not turned out as badly as he first feared after losing the historic EU referendum in 2016 in a video from the World Economic Forum WEF in Davos. Mr. Cameron, former Chancellor George Osborne and Bank of England Chief Mark Carney led the Project Fear rally in the build-up to the vote to leave the EU, pumping scaremongering stories that Britain's economy would be seriously damaged. The former Conservative Party Prime Minister insisted at the time that leaving the EU would be catastrophic for the British economy, but footage from Five News showed Mr Cameron speaking about Brexit in the corridors of WEF. Changing his mind on the consequence of voting to leave the EU, LBC5 News' Nigel Farage expertly mocked David E. Cameron. After his short Brexit admission it's frustrating. As I keep saying, it's a mistake, not a disaster David. Cameron he said, it's frustrating. As I keep saying, it's a mistake, not a disaster, it's turned out less badly than we first thought, but it is still going to be difficult, the former Prime Minister was speaking with. Lakshmi Mittal, the chairman of a steel company, who said, everyone is speaking about Brexit, commenting on the viral video of the exchange on Twitter, Mr. Farage rinsed Mr. Cameron for his short Brexit admission, simply writing, busted, epidavid Cameron confessed in the corridors of the World Economic Forum in Davos a flurry of Mr. Farage's fans, backed him in the comments section, with one smugly joking, got to thank Dave for giving us the opportunity to leave EU, Helen Deacon said, maybe it's now time Remainers stopped bleating and accepted the fact we're leaving the EU, like it or not, Steve Friedman said, turns out most pundits are wrong more than we thought, Alistair Campbell, who is campaigning to reverse the result of the referendum, admitted the project fear failed in the lead up to the vote in June 2016, he said to Mr Farage on LBC, I think it did. I think what happened was that David E. Cameron in a sense fought the last campaign, it was the same as the Scottish referendum campaign, the same as his election campaign against Ed Miliband. There was no kind of hope, there was no positive message about remaining.